Hello. Language. Language is the thing. And I'm here. I was here. I went to Speaker's Corner almost two years ago and was far too scared to speak. And I tell you, I'm not scared now. I'm really ready to talk. Now, I'm going to talk to you about something that I haven't seen in the press. I'm a hypnosis practitioner and I've been doing hypnosis for 30 years and helping people to, to hypnotize others. And I know about language. And I know that this is based on something we call the big lie. Do you know the big lie? The big lie was first described by Adolf Hitler in Mein Kampf. The big lie is such a big lie that ordinary people like us think, well, that can't be a lie because I'd never tell any bigger li as big a lie as that. We only lie in small ways. The big lie, well, there is one big lie going on and it was begun by men in oh, the early part of the 20th century. It was began when they had an erotic fantasy and they decided they were gonna sell us the big lie. And what is the big lie? The big lie is trans women are, but they're not, are they? They're men and we know that. So let me just spend a couple of minutes telling you a bit about how this hypnosis works. Repetition. Repetition is hypnotic. The more you repeat it, the more you believe it. The more you hear trans women are women, the more a shadow of that big lie lies in your head. And I'm sure I'm not alone uh, in saying that I've sat at home and thinking, well, maybe, maybe there is, you know, maybe they do have, you know, female think thought patterns. No, they effing don't. All the thought patterns I have are my thought patterns, and I have as much DNA that is female in my toenail as Eddie Izzard doesn't have in any part of him. So the thing is that you start to believe it. You start to believe it. And if you repeat an idea over and over again, and people start to believe it, you want them to believe it, that's called an affirmation. Affirmations are what hypnotists use to make you believe something. So be kind is an affirmation. If you're sympathetic to this ideology, this ideology that I call the trans phallus, <laughs> if, you, if you are sympathetic, then you are affirming. Every time you call a he who says he's a she, she, you are affirming. Affirmation makes people believe things. If you repeat it and repeat it, I'm hoping I'm repeating this enough that you will be in no doubt, no doubt ever, that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. So how to stop this, what's called gaslighting, what's called brainwashing, Manage your emotions. Don't match them. Don't get sympathetic. Don't go, oh, there, dear, there, dear. Break the trance. Pour cold water over their lies. Do it realistically or do it with your words. Your honest words break people out of compliance. If you're honest, they can't stay where they Because it's all about state management. We have to manage our emotions. Refuse to affirm. And the best thing is laugh. I know I'm not laughing now, but I do laugh a lot. And, and I want to just give you one last tip on hypnosis. Don't ever say to someone, trans women are not women because our unconscious mind does not think not. It only thinks, it is trans women, women, trans women, women. Oh, trans women, well, they are women, aren't they? They are women, and then they smile. Emotions, emotions are what caught them. They got caught not by rational things, they got caught by emotions. And how are we gonna break this? Is by using emotions that shake them out so they can't find that emotion of sympathy ever again. Thank you. Yeah.